Oh no, and they've got an opening and they've put it straight into the net. Oh my god. The goalkeeper is out of his whole goal. He's just, he's gone. He's not even there. I am, I am speechless. I wasn't even <laughs> planning on, on doing that. Hey my people, how are you doing? I hope you're having a damn great day. Welcome back to the career mode. For this weekend, we've got a lot of games on our hands and they are going to be coming thick and fast. Of course, we've got Champions League football as well as we are trying to compete up there with the best of them in the Premier League. So in the last episode, if you didn't see it, pause right here, check it out. But if you did, obviously you would know it wasn't the best episode, but we need to bounce back. And it's very important that we bounce back in this episode because like I said, we've got a lot of games coming thick and fast. So taking a look at the calendar, we've got an away game to Brentford now. For those of you who don't know, last season Brentford came and smacked us up or we went to the, the GTEC Stadium and we got absolutely obliterated. So we, we need to make sure that we get some revenge. And then we have a home game, our first home game might I say, against Real Batiste, which is going to be fantastic. Another home game again to Crystal Palace and then we've got three games, one away at the likes of uh, Brighton, one away um, to, to split and then one home game to end off the episode against the likes of Man United. So it's going to be a very, very jam-packed, full of action episode. So if you can, hit that like button and let's go. And hopefully dominates the GTEC Stadium. Kicking things off here, it's, it's all business. I need to make sure that I can more or less stack together a, a run of games where we can at least string together a few wins. And we need to also play good football in the process. So that's going to be the, the, the main thought pattern and idea for today's set of games or well, this weekend in general I, I i just need to make sure that you know we play some good footy going forwards backwards and sideways got the likes of connor brady baseline cuts it back Haraldson was almost there we've won it back though and it's back in possession oh brentford lose it no nope, maybe maybe okay never mind well done well done matt o'reilly make the run connor bradley not Connor Bradley, Connor Gallagher. My bad, I got too many Connors on the side. And Gallagher puts it back in the, well, puts it in the back of the net. Fantastic, opens the scoring account. Great tackle and win back from, from the likes of Matt O'Reilly. Puts it forward and uh, our new number 10 smashes it home. Well done, well played. Jed Wallace, he's got some space. Cuts it to the back post. Oh my goodness, and you know who's there. We might have a new star on our hands, honestly. We signed him for a lot of money to bring him back to the Hawthorns this season, and he has been nothing short but spectacular. We're, we're, we're doing the things correctly here. We're, we're actually doing these things correctly. Oh, what a save. Damn, I really want Matt O'Reilly to get back on the score sheet these days because, honestly, last season he was incredible. His start last season was fantastic. But the likes of Branthwaite is there, and it is 3-0, and you know what that means, people? Simulation time. Hopefully we don't lose. I have decided to start simulating a few games here and there. Obviously, we have quite a few games. No, I'm not trying to simulate it like this. Jump to the result. But obviously, we have quite a few games coming up. And, you know, just to try and condense quite a bit of the, the game plan and whatnot. If a game gets to 3-0, I will look to try and sim it. Um, and I, especially if it's a, a game like Brentford where we're 3-0 up in like the first 27 minutes so just thought i'd explain that to you guys going forward okay press conference time of course i love the press conferences before the the champions league game so we got off to the best possible start we did we beat psg 3-2 fantastic comeback win but the likes of real batiste also won their game versus splits so you know it's 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 the undefeated top two of the group going head to head luckily we have the home advantage uh, but of course, Real Batiste has some really good quality players. We'll have a look at their squad shortly, but they are going to be a very tough matchup, and it's something that we can't be relaxed on. We need to make sure that we're on it from the first minute to the last. Okay, so this is very interesting. Having a look at their team, they've got Gwedesh up front, who's a very quick, pacey, fast player. They've got some really good players on the bench. Veerman, um, Illich as well. They've got some really good talents on the bench. Of course, Isco suspended for this game. But Martinez and Rodriguez as that double pivot also makes me a bit nervous. And of course, they've got Ferland Mendy from Real Madrid. Yep, this is going to be a very, very tough game. They've got some, some really good, strong, physical central midfielders as well. So we'll have to see how things go. But hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can get the win. And I've lost it. Connor Gallagher's lost it. And it's a quick transition for them. They'll definitely look to transition very effectively against us. Oh, no. And they've got an opening and they've put it straight into the net. Oh, my God. 
Right back was out of position. To be fair, that's Conor Gallagher's fault. He should have just laid it off nicely. Couldn't. And the likes of Carvalho. Was it Carvalho? Yeah, that's Carvalho. Slots at home. And we can see why he's starting as that attacking midfielder. Hmm. Okay. Well, we've got a game on our hands now. Okay, here we go. Sanko, I see you. Oh, he's taking the turn beautifully. Taking the man out of the game. And we pop off a shot because he, he took the turn. He took everything, but he just couldn't get the legs to, to run forward. Great ball. Central. Lays it off nicely. We see the on-running Connor Bradley. Who's in the Who's in the box? Oh! Was that, is that a corner? I don't know. Okay, we've won, a, we've won ourselves a corner at least. Jed Wallace to take the corner. Can you put it on somebody's head? The Brantwaite. Big man Brantwaite. That's two games in a row. If he can be a man that can contribute six to seven, maybe eight goals this season, that is game-changing numbers, honestly. So he's going to be a massive part of the success of this season. Lloyd Kelly finds the likes of Conor Gallagher. Conor Gallagher pulls a man out of, out of some space. Into the likes of Haraldson. Haraldson, he's looking for a more central man. Makes it and finds the likes of Conor Gallagher. Thank you, good sir. And that's again, back-to-back -back scoring games for the likes of Conor Gallagher. I think that's three goals in two games. And none other than another header back-to-back. -back. You'd love to see it. That is, that is, that is absolutely appalling. Guedes just using his pace, exploiting us tenfold. And it's 2-2 just before halftime. Chasing down the likes of the bombing on Bellerin. Bellerin, he's looking. <laughs> Can't do much though, can you, bro? Haraldson, he's pacing down this left flank into the space. Up against the likes of Guido Rodriguez. Come on, hits it. Oh my gosh. And we've made a fumble. Okay, we are going to make some changes. We need to bring on some impact substitutes. And none other than the likes of big man Maja Kuto. I've been thinking about this. Obviously, Kuto is a right back in, in real life. And he hasn't been that effective for me on the offensive side of things. So maybe, just maybe, we convert him into a right back and have him as a backup for Bradley. And they can alternate quite nicely. Because honestly, his, his offensive outlet is not great for a forward that you would expect, you know? So it, it is just a thought. You know, maybe we might not do that. Maybe we do. I don't know. But for, for now, I, I think... That could be an, an option, an option going forward. And maybe we look to try and bring in another potential uh, winger. I don't know. You guys can let me know if you get to this part in the video. But anyways, we'll we'll move on. Saw Kuto. Um, and of course, Madja all coming on. Madja is like an absolute truck. Oh, we've got a ball in here. And oh, what a save from the goalkeeper, Gregor. Oh my God. Okay, well, you know what? It was a great tester. You know, it's it's... It's a, a sign of things to come. Wallace to put it into the box. Madja. Got him. Got him. We are becoming set piece deadly specialists in this season. It's going to be fantastic. 3-2 up. Very similar to how the things went with the likes of PSG. How is that, how is that a free kick, by the way? Okay, we are going to bring on James McAtee for the likes of Conor Gallagher. But that was never a free kick. It was literally 50-50 contact, shoulder to shoulder. And they've given them a free kick, and they're probably going to score its top corner. Watch this, watch this. Oh my god, it's banged off the crossbar. Kuto's somehow won the header. He is winning all the headers today. Come on, McAtee, run. Oh, he split the defenders. Gives it into Madja. Madja's got all the things to do. And he finishes it in the top bins. 4-2 up. And it's safe to say that this is going to be a solid victory for the Baggies. Run, Kuto. Jan Kuto, he's in behind the fullback. He's got pace down this right flank. Puts a good cross in and he's won us a corner. We are sitting fifth with, with 15 points. Just one point behind the top, you know. You know the rules. Oh, why did he overcommit there? Good ball. Lovely skip play. Kuto puts it in. Oh, what a block. That was that was almost a certain goal. Okay, we've got, we've got ourselves another corner. But should Kuto be taking them? I think maybe Gallagher. Okay. Come on. Put it in a great area. Oh my goodness. You see, we changed the corner kick taker. And immediately, there's more accuracy. There's more precision. And it's another goal for this big man right here. Oh no. Oh, thank God. I thought we... You know what? We've just scored. We've just gone ahead. And we, we're going to give up a goal. No, 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 no. We don't, we don't do that here. Near post, flick on. Oh, great save again from Woodman. I tell you what, hey, Woodman, he plays like an 89 goalkeeper. 
He honestly plays like an, an 89, 90 goalkeeper. I don't know. He should be starting for England. That's all I do know. Oh, hello. Sanko, chests it beautifully. Takes a touch. Great save from Mendy. Oh, my goodness me. Okay. What can we work here? We, we are absolutely working Palace, but we've seen games in the past where we've worked the team so well and they've managed to somehow stay in the game and then they get a result. So we don't want that to happen. So great run there from Connor Gallagher. After you think now when I say Connor, it's like Connor Bradley, Connor, Connor who? It's Connor Gallagher. Okay. And they want us to make a sub. McNamara coming on for, for, no, no, not, not just yet. Not just yet. We, I do want to put more of an in swinger. So he was good on the last one. Let's see if he can make good on this one. Finds the likes of, oh my days. This man is incredible. The connection of Connor Gallagher and Jared Branthwaite is, it's everything you want to see in the team. Thank God that didn't connect with, with the, the player. Because that would have been a, a certain pen. And then they're back in it. And that's not what you want. Oh. Yeah, offside. Okay, we are going to make some changes. I know it's slightly earlier than normal, but we will make some changes. Sanko off for McNamara. I do want to test out this kid and see how good he can potentially be. But because we're going with a bit more youth up front, we need a bit more experience on the wings. And therefore, the likes of Kuto and Haraldson. Sorry, no, the likes of McAtee and, and, and Kuto will be coming off for Wallace and Haraldson. And then I'm thinking... Cullen. I need a bit more bite in the midfield. O'Reilly hasn't been doing it that much for me. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to stick with those changes for now. Haraldson plays in a lovely ball to Connor Gallagher. Who's, who's got a brace of, of assists. That's, that's quite crazy. Oh, Wallace. He sees the back post run of the likes of Cullen, who's literally just come on the field. I don't think he's touched it yet. And with his first touch, he makes it 3-0 to the Baggies. Um... I, I want to sim it, I do, but I also want to see how McNamara plays because honestly, this is his first game. So we are going to, you know, just play a little bit more. Hopefully he can get a goal. Nicely done there from Sosa. Just plays it forward first time. Lovely, lovely jubbly. Back post, Haraldson's there! And it's now four. Haraldson with a fantastic finish and Jed Wallace coming on the field. Two goals, uh, sorry, not two goals, two assists. And in a matter of, of minutes, honestly. Um, McNamara, his link-up plays quite good, to say the very least, but he um, needs to get into the more attacking areas, if, if we're going to be honest, because look at him. He's making a run outside of the box. He's my number nine. He needs to be in and around that attacking area to make sure he's, you know, attacking the crosses. Yeah, it's, it's really good. But a 4-0 win to the Baggies, and so far, so good. Three wins on the bounce in this episode alone, and I mean, if you, count, if you don't count the Chelsea loss because we lost some penalties, it's like four or five wins on the bounce, so... But anyway, on the bounce in this episode, three wins. Let's go. We'll take that as good momentum heading on into our next few games. Okay, from Palace to Brighton, aren't they rivals? I don't know. Is it a real rivalry? You'll have to let me know. But nonetheless, Palace to Brighton, Deserbies, boys, they are obviously going to be a very tough side to try and beat. But I think we've we've passed all of our tests so far. And they're already fouling Sanko. What what is this BS? Oh, Lays it off nicely. Can he get there in time? No. Okay. Gallagher is so good at just being able to back into the opposition. And it's just fizz past the, the, the damn net. I need to first time a lot of these, these passes. If I, if I had that ability, oh my days. This offense would be absolutely firing on all cylinders. Um, and Adingra. Adingra is such a good player, man. I wish he had his real face. There are rumors... There are rumors, though, that Adingra is going to be getting his real face soon, so... A very good career mode potential signing, and uh, Barbosa with a goal, an unexpected goal out of nowhere. I thought I had that covered, but clearly not. And, uh, yeah, Brighton up 1-0. It does make things a little bit more interesting. Can we bounce back? I really thought I had him covered, but he somehow got a shot off, and it beats the goalkeeper tenfold. Gallagher, drifting wide, taking on the likes of Ezri Konsa. Jed Wallace, and he puts it in the back of the net. That, that, that's my captain, you know. He knows what it takes to get back into games. He knows what it takes to drive this team forward. That is my captain right there. Fantastic little run on the inside. Um, just taking a man out of position and then just chipping it past the goalkeeper. Things you like to see. Rushworth stood no chance. Look at this. Bang! Just, that's beautiful. That is absolutely fantastic. That is well done there from Lloyd Kelly. You are an absolute man amongst boys. I see the pass into the likes of 
Captain Jed Wallace takes it in stride, hitters it, and it's straight at the goalkeeper. That was, a, that was a great little switch of play there. We almost cleared. We almost cleared out the goalkeeper. But the attack comes back. Likes of Brighton, they are absolutely not enjoying the the waves of it. Well, that wasn't great. Uh, we are going to make some changes. Um, Major, he is going to come on for Sanko. Kuto coming on for Haraldson. Haraldson does tire very quickly, which is it's a bit rough. We're going for the, a bit more of the inverted winger now with the likes of McTee being the left-footed player on the right-hand side and Kuto vice versa. And then, just because he made such a great impact yeah, against the likes of Palace, I'm going to bring on Cullen as well as Branthwaite coming off for the likes of Saar. Kuto has made some a run into some space. The things you like to see. Chips it into Madger. Madger gets it anyway. I wasn't supposed to go to, to the likes of McAtee. But anyway, Connor Bradley's got it yet again. I see the run. Back post. Chips it in. Oh my god, we've done it in the, in the 89th minute. The goalkeeper is out of his whole goal. He's just, he's gone. He's not even there. Oh my goodness. What a whip in from the likes of Connor Bradley. Look at this. Collects it, sees the run of, I don't know who that is. Is that McAtee? I think that might be James McAtee. I don't know for sure. But he puts it straight back into the path of Madger, who just plonks it home for a potential win. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's even saying there five goals in eight games for the likes of Josh Madger. He has been in very, very, very good form to start off the season and um, really good as an impact sub off the bench. Somehow, some way, we come away with the three points. I will, I will give Brighton credits because they were very good. Um... Especially in the second half, they were like making sure that they were frustrating, hard to break down. So you give them credit where it's due. They just weren't good enough to stop the baggies from collecting these goddamn three points. Let's go. On to our Champions League game versus splits. Okay, so for the game versus splits, I've decided to make a whole host of different changes. Of course, the likes of Brandon Williams hasn't really been getting that much game time, as well as the likes of Ballard. Although I do have Branthwaite on the bench in case Ballard does start making, you know, just the normal Dan Ballard errors. Um, obviously, we don't want to lose this game, but Splits have lost their last three games. Sorry, the last two games. It's going to be three after this one, but yeah, they've just been absolutely battered. Battered, battered, battered. Anyway, so we need to make sure that we can get the victory. Um, and I'm hoping to see a bit more from the players that haven't been getting as much minutes. If they can impress me, they can make a, a great effort into trying to con convince me, persuade me into trying to put them in the main 11. So we'll have to see. But hopefully we get the victory. Away from home, split, they're going to be tough. But I have faith in the boys that I've selected that they can put their best effort forward and try and convince me and to start them for the big game versus Man United. Oh, a little round the corner flick. Madra, he's played in the likes of Matt O'Reilly and it's a great one-handed save from their goalkeeper. That was a fantastic save. And Matt O'Reilly, he probably should be doing a bit better with it. But great save from the keeper. Yeah, he, he gets a good glove to it. Okay, well, we've got a corner now. I don't know who their goalkeeper is. He looks like he's got a real face. But the likes of Connor Gallagher is going to take the corners. He's two from two, by the way. Can he make it th three from three? Okay, never mind. Good ball. Back in. Matt O'Reilly this time. Oh, he's leathered it. Who, who is their goalkeeper? I need to find out who this goalkeeper is. Because he looks like he's got a real face. No. Let, let. Uh, I was there. Oh, it's Kalinic. Doesn't he play for like, um... No, I think that's somebody else. Anyway, I'm pretty sure he used to play for, for like a massive club. I'm pretty sure he did. Um, but I was right. He does have a real face. Okay, we've got another corner. Matt O'Reilly this time to take it. Let's see if he can deliver a better ball. Finds the head of Madger. Great save yet again. Their captain... 1,006% making it very hard to, to for us to score. Jesus Christ. Back post. Oh, what a save from Woodman. You know what? He is making a great attempt into trying to convince me to start him. Oh, wait. He is already my number one goalkeeper for that very reason right there. Fantastic save. He's asking the defenders, what the hell are you doing? But where was Brandon Williams? That's, that's his area. He needs to mark the back post. 
They've got it here on the edge of our box, and we've won it back beautifully. It would have been nice if you could have made that run, Magic, but it's fine. I know you're, I know you're like an absolute truck when you turn. Oh, and you can't even pass to save your life. This is why I start Sanko, clearly. Because Sanko, in that situation, goes up the field and scores a goal. Or at least tries to get a bit close to the damn net of, of, of the opposition. And um, how are we drawing to the slots? 38 minutes in. Watch the play. Well done. Kuto! Oh my god. Oh my... You know what? I, I need to make some changes. I absolutely need to make some changes. The likes of Swift, the young man, will be coming on. Wallace will also be coming on. Uh, but he's going to start on the... Yeah, why not? You know, just why not? Madger has also been terrible. Let's give McNamara another go. Um, Rudevald, he can come on for Matt O'Reilly, who's been dreadful. And then... Final change, I'm going to, just because I don't trust him still, Branthwaite's on for the likes of Ballard. Brandon Williams and being out of position is hilarious. That's a great ball. Heads it straight onto Swift. Takes on his man. Takes him to the, the bar line. Lays it off nicely. Well done. broken the deadlock all it took was a few interchanging passes and a little Conor Gallagher chip over the top and we've we've scored our first goal of the game that's lovely what a lovely sight anyways 1-0 to the backies put in high ball put into the top oh McNamara is there to win the header potentially can't do it and it's going to go out for a Diallo clearance we've won it back though we, we go again oh my god that is filthy if you injured my man, I would fist you up. Okay. Well, it's it's literally a free shot. Time is winding down. It's okay. It's all right. We're going to go for it regardless. Bang! And of course, it's hit the wall. But that's going to be the game right there. 1-0 to the baggies. I'll take it. It's nine points from a possible nine. Beating PSG. Beating Real Batiste. Beating Split. Who proved to be the hardest team to score against. We did rotate the side. But... Now we have a very, very, very tough final game of the episode up against Man United. That is going to be crazy. Absolutely madness. They've got some good players, you know. Okay, it's press conference time. As for always, you need to answer the good questions. We need to make sure that the boys are very happy mo morally, of course. Um, so they're asking, can we sustain a title challenge? Maybe not. Can we, you know, get into the Champions League for next season? That is the goal. Top four is the priority. If we get over and above that, there we go. Um, a narrow, a narrow 1-0 win. Yeah, well, did you see the team that we were playing? We were playing kids. Kind of. And Magic was terrible and, and so on. But nonetheless, we still won the game. And that's like, what, five wins on the bounce? Uh, yeah, we're feeling very confident. Although, we do know Man United, very, very tough. We need to make sure that we're switched on. We need to make sure that we're reading how they're trying to play. They've got some fast plays. they got Rashford and so on. So it's going to be tough. Can we win? We'll see. Oh my goodness. Ten Hag finally got Frankie De Jong. Their backline... I don't know. Their backline's a bit sketchy. Obviously, Tyreek Mitchell's being the, the, the weakest link there. But, of course, Martinez and Kimpembe. Kimpembe's also not that fantastic. But Hertruda and Martinez on that right-hand side are very, very good. Um, De Jong and Eriksen, though. I mean, they've got Lukaku on the bench. now Martinez also on the bench. Barella... For Tazy, they've they basically signed into Milan <laughs> from like last season. Um, but Openda, Ahmad, and Sancho start. No Rashford. Garnacho, I don't know where he is. Wow. Also, no Casemiro. Very, very, very interesting. Haraldson in loads of space on the left hand side. Oh, that was that would have been the easiest tapping I've ever seen. Okay, Jed Wallace to whip it in. Put some power on it. Onto the head of Brantwaite! Oh my god, this man is absolutely inevitable. Connor Bradley making inroads. Lays it off to Connor Gallagher. Connor Gallagher, oh, it was well read from the likes of Katruda, I think. I think that was who read it. And Mason Mount clears it nicely in it. Why is Mason Mount wearing number 21? Oh, they gave Frankie de Jong number 7. That, that's crazy. That's crazy. 
Ten Hag said, uh, thanks, Mace. Mace money mounts. <laughs> 21. <laughs> Although Frankie de Jong likes 21, which is a bit weird, but... Oh, across the face of goal. Oh! That was a great chance to make a 2-0. I, I'm an absolute imbecile if the ball just lands right in front. Yeah, that, that that's on me. Go, 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 go. Who's in the middle to support? Haraldson, oh, Haraldson consistently being the thorn in Man United's side. And, oh, no, no. Hologram, hologram goalkeeper. Anyway, Haraldson puts it past the man in the, well, in the net. And, um... Yeah, we're two 0 up. Let's go! Fantastic. Always, consistently, Gertrude getting so tight to either the number ten or the striker, opening up so much space down that left hand side for Haraldson, and he just... Oh my God, that is poor from from Onana. Absolutely poor, but very realistic, you could say. Little chip over the top there. Oh, gets it through to Sanko. Sanko lays it off nicely. He gets fouled. Of course, it's by Martinez. Martinez absolutely cracks his head and. And uh, it's going to be a free kick. But we're 2 0 up just before the break. Things you like to see. Sosa, can he make it three? Slides it in. Oh my goodness. Plays it back. Oh! It was looking fan. Oh, it's we've still got the ball. Onana's cleared it, but just not well enough. And the likes of. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh I am, I am speechless. I wasn't even <laughs> planning on, on doing that, but 3-0 up. Oh, Nana, you absolute shameful, shameful human. Haraldson grabs a second just, just before the break. And we are cruising in this one. Sanko, oh, almost, almost. Haraldson is in that space and he's looking to exploit it. Although, Openda, he's in behind. He's looking to break... And it's a great goal from Man United. Okay, well, it's 3-1. It could be 3-2 if Onana wasn't brain dead. But we will be making some changes. Okay, because this game, I'm not going to lie, the first like 16 minutes of the second half have been absolutely drab. So Sanko's going to come off. Sanko hasn't scored in, in a while, to be fair. Um, Wallace will be coming off as well. Kuta on. I need a bit more space and pace down the flanks to like stretch Man United as much as possible. Um, I'm going to bring on Cullen for Gallagher. Big call, but Matt O'Reilly shifting up into that number 10 role. Maybe we can get the best out of him higher up the field. I don't know. Um, and then, yeah, I'm okay with that for now. Why is Magic being an absolute knob? There we go! Okay, well, you know what? It's fine. Oh, Mackety, he's mad. Of course, former Man City boy. He wants to score against Man United. You can feel it. You can see it. And Matt O'Reilly, he can see the pass. Ma oh, flippin' hell. I just want to add one Maja! <laughs> and uh, Kuto blazes it over. I'm honestly thinking Kuto should be a right back. Because his his ball delivery is pretty good. But him in the attacking third, not so much. I'm trying to improve that, but it's it's not seeming to work that that well, to be fair. So maybe a right back and we look for a, a better right midfielder. Is he a right back? Is he a new gen? Oh, great save. Ribeiro forces the likes of Woodman into a fantastic save. I'm not going to bring on Brandon Williams for my number 10. Also, why is Onana up the field? Like, you're if you score now, well done. But, like, you're, you're still a goal down. Oh, well, that, well, that was dumb. Okay. <laughs> well, if you score now, you're dumb. Well, watch. We're going to kick off. We're going to kick off, and we've won the game. You see? All because Onana... Pass the ball into Haraldson. Literally. We we win this game through to because of Onana. Oh. Anyways, we win. Happy days. Now, let's see where we are in the table. Okay, so as the month ends, the month of November starts in the next episode, but as this month ends, we finish in second place. Only one point behind Spurs. It's only been Spurs that have managed to maintain that one point lead. The likes of Liverpool have dropped points. They're now four points behind us. Arsenal, now five points behind us. Wolves, Chelsea, West Ham, wow. And of course, Man United sits in eighth place. A solid seven behind the baggies. Okay, well, we, we will be chasing down Spurs in the next episode, so stay tuned for that. If you can, hit that like button. You know, it does the whole YouTube algorithm thing. 
where it lets YouTube know that uh, yours truly makes some good career mode videos and it will therefore suggest it to other people who like career mode videos. As well as tactics videos, so, you know, stay tuned for that. Um, but anyway guys, I hope you have a damn great day. I'm out.